This is the NFL on EA Sports as we join you from Everbank Stadium here in Jacksonville. Coming up, we got a good matchup on tap here as it'll be the Philadelphia Eagles taking on the Jacksonville Jaguars. Now the kicker, Brandon McManus, about ready to get us started. And off we go from Jacksonville. Boston Scott on the return from his end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Six yards brings up second down. They'll stay on the ground with Swift. And this one will go to the 28 yard line. On first and 10, it's Swift. Up past the 30, second down coming up. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Brown the motion man right. Hurts throw complete there to Smith. And he'll be stopped right at midfield. 19 yards to pick up there. Move the chains. Well, that was a fun one to watch right there. A nice in-breaking route and plenty of room in the middle of the field. And he was able to get behind the linebackers and grab the completion for a really good pickup. From the midfield stripe, they'll look to throw. Forced out to his left. He'll get three yards on the scramble there at second down. Brandon, once that one broke down, there were only so many options left for him to take. Fortunately, only first down, so he smartly got the yardage he could get and didn't worry about trying to turn into a bigger play and end up taking a bigger loss. Here, they hope they can regroup and get something different going here on second down. Escaping the pressure right. And this is caught. It's Brown. And all the way inside the 15 before they drop him. Give him 32 on the play. We expected this defense to be tested by this passing game coming into this one. And there's an example on this first possession of the game. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Here's Hurts to throw. And it's going to be caught for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts finding A.J. Brown. And the Eagles get the upper hand as they're on the board first here this afternoon. They went five wide in that offensive set. In racing, going three wide is a big deal. To go five, how about the way that they finish things off? <laughs> Did you just fit a race car reference into the game? Zoom, zoom. How about the way that you play? When you go five wide, that means you're going fast now. Zoom, zoom indeed. Elliott good on the extra point, and that makes the score 7-0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This taken in at the goal line. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped it to 23-yard line. Lawrence bringing the Jaguars up first and 10 at their own 23. Now ETN to start the drive. And he'll maneuver his way forward for about four, second and six. Brandon, to me, what's important right here on this drive is for them to get at least two first downs. They've got to give their defense a chance to settle down, catch their breath a little bit after they give up a touchdown on the opening drive. Meanwhile, Lawrence's throw into the hands of Kirk. He'll be hit down at the 33, five yards on the play. A yard all they need, but it's third down. 
And they'll run with ETN. He's not going to get there. That won't even be close. It was blown up in the backfield. Losing two yards that time, and now it's fourth down. An ideal start defensively. They already have the touchdown. Now they get the stop. Just like they drew it up on the chalkboard. Does that sound dated? Right? Am I, am I out of touch a little bit? It's all right. All right, grease board, heck, computer, exactly what you want, though. Score on your first drive, stop them on the first drive defensively. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. A curious decision to go for it, but it pays off with a first down. Well, that's some kind of effort when he caught it. I doubted if he could get there. Knew it was going to be close, but credit him. Really good effort. How about the rack on that play, the run after catch? But most of the time, we think of it as just being an open field and picking up yardage. Sometimes you have to be real physical in order to gain the yardage you need for a first down. And now the throw here is incomplete. And with that, we come to the end of the first quarter of play. Second quarter now from Jacksonville, and it's the Jags with the football as they've got it with a second and ten. Play action. It's Lawrence. They'll find Farrell open left side. And he has another first down as they get the ball down to the Eagles' 44-yard line. They give him 13 yards there on the play and a fresh set of downs. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. On play action, Lawrence. Oh, that's into a double team, and it's intercepted. Darius Slay with a pick. And the Eagles will take over possession here up at the 44. You're looking there at a defensive back who's maybe a step slower than he was when he came into the league a decade ago. I know I question his speed coming into the game, but what he's lost in speed, he's more than made up for it with intellect. And that's a great job of knowing how to position himself to make that interception. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. They'll start in excellent field position following the INT. And now a throw on first down there, but it's incomplete. How about this offense already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? They've certainly come out firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7 nothing lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and pressure advantage. According to the headlines, but incomplete. So the ball a little late getting there, and it's third down. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has him staring at a third and ten. They'll send a receiver in motion left. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. Give him credit. And set coverage. Tight coverage. They're doing a lot of things that we talk about in basketball. They're causing disruptions in the passing game. And as long as that continues, it'll be tough for them to gain any momentum throwing the ball downfield. The three straight incompletions, they don't care. That hasn't dissuaded them. They're going to go for it on four. They're going to try and throw. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have an Eagles first down as they manage to convert. And that'll keep the drive alive. They run out of the gun with Swift. And a good-looking run there as he'll take this inside the 20 and down to the 18-yard line. On first and 10, it's Hurts. His throw caught right around the 6. Touchdown! Olamide Zacchaeus, an 18-yard touchdown grab. And the Eagles go up by two touchdowns. The full team is involved in this game early, aren't they? Go down the field, score on offense, take the ball away on defense, and go right back and score again. You got to like the way that's working for them. That's exactly right. Touchdown, turnover, touchdown, two-score lead. A little bit like you at breakfast this morning. I got to get this in. You had a perfect omelet, dropped it. So a little bit of a turnover. You went right back, though, and got that omelet and crushed it. You got to do what you got to do. Yeah. You got to do what you got to do. worried do. about your hands, though. Yeah. Well. <laughs> <laughs>
From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And they'll start this drive just across the 30. Pretty nice work on the return. At their own 31 yard line. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. And they're in an early hole. The first drive, they threw the interception. That led to a touchdown. So, decent-sized deficit early on. It is, but I think you hit the key words, early on. So, they have to decide, do we even need to change game plan? Or do we just need to execute better and try and get back in this game? So, from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 44-yard line. Now, Lawrence. That's complete to Travis Etienne out of the backfield. They'll get this one down near the 20-yard line, just shy of the 20. It's another first down as they bite off 23 more on that one. Now Lawrence steps away to his left. Etienne bringing in another one. And he'll get him inside the 15 down to the 14-yard line. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and that'll make it second down. Two minutes to play, first half, it's 14 to nothing. Second down and three. ETN up the middle. And he will get this into the end zone for a Jaguar touchdown. Travis ETN, 14 yards. And the Jaguars have cut it back within a score. On here, Brandon McManus for the point after. And that one makes it 14 to 7. To the touchdown. Here's McManus now to kick it away. Scott on the return out of the end zone. Oh, a dangerous return man showing it here. And he will take this one all the way back inside the 35 yard line. Forget the idea of flipping the field. They have now put themselves in a position to score points with that big time return. Line of scrimmage, the 31 now on first and 10. Hurts. And too much juice. It'll be out of bounds, incomplete. They decided the opportunity was there and launched a deep ball, but he was unable to get away from the defender, couldn't create space, couldn't uncover at the end of the route, and that one winds up incomplete. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Got his man complete over the middle. It's Brown. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the 5. Here's Swift. And he's in for an Eagles touchdown. DeAndre Swift. A five-yard touchdown run as his guys are able to extend their lead. So, Charles, that's three touchdowns on three drives, and it's just been an offensive barrage so far. Great word, partner, using barrage right there. I'm going to add another word if you don't mind. How about perfection? No surprise that they're leading right now. Absolute dominance throughout this ball game, and no signs of slowing down. Back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. Jaguars come to the line to start their next drive. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, and this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions together, push the end zone, and then make that walk back to the locker room just a little more animated. So the line of 
scrimmage moves all the way across the 50 now as they come up first and 10. Lawrence will throw. And this will be incomplete. Physical play on the football there, and it's second down. Well, the incompletion, yes, but maybe here not the worst thing in the world? No, not on first and 10. Actually gives them a chance to regroup, relax just a little bit. They huddle up, talk it over. Then they get a chance to continue their drive. Second and 10. 11, 11. Now Lawrence to throw. He'll get that underneath ETN. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. The Jaguars are going to go ahead and use their first timeout as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Could be four down territory even if they don't get this, but they need just a few inches here on third. Straight ahead, ETN. And he will have the first down, but he winds up paying for it pretty good. Well, partner, what do you think? Might have been four down territory if they didn't pick it up, but... Yeah, it's a moot point now. I was curious, so if they didn't get it there, would they have gone for it? I guess we'll never know. Yeah, we didn't have to make that call, but I have a feeling both of us would have said, go for it. Throwing on first down, but this one winds up to be incomplete. Well, a momentary speed bump there with that throw, partner. The defense had other ideas, and they're trying to mount a small stand before this drive reaches the end zone. They go play action with Lawrence. That's going to be caught by Kirk. And they'll have it in the red zone before he crosses over out of bounds. 18 yards there, down to the 18 and a first down. You can see the time and effort and thought that they put into their passing game because it was evident right there. It looks like a simple pitch and catch, but you and I both know that they have planned for this and worked hard to make it happen. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And the Jaguars are going to have a first and goal as he's taken down at about the eight-yard line. Now the Jags will use the second of their timeouts as it comes with 22 seconds to go here in half number one. First and goal, and they got to be thinking a chance to get right back into this football game. Being chased out left. And he takes it in. Touchdown, Jacksonville. Trevor Lawrence as the first half is winding down. And the Jaguars are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. McManus's point after is good. And the lead will shrink to six. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. And he takes this up to the 40-yard line before being corralled. And this offense going to elect to burn a timeout with five seconds remaining in quarter number two. So quickly all the way up at the 40-yard line. They'll throw now on the final play. Now he's going to send this one deep right side. Oh, he tries to force it in, and it's intercepted. Rayshon Jenkins picks it off. And he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. And that'll do it for the end of the second quarter. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. Welcome back, halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. The Jaguars with work to do. They trail here as we are back underway on EA Sports. From his end zone, here comes Agnew. 
And that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one. Cost him about five yards as he's tackled at the 20. The Jacksonville offense set to begin their next drive. Well, Charles, in that first half, we saw a fair amount of offense on both sides of the football, and now the team trailing here will start with it in the third quarter. And we both know this coach pretty darn well, don't we? Because his game planning is always on point. And now that he's getting the ball to start the second half, how about all the offense that you already referenced in the first half? He'll put that all together and come out with something really strong, I believe, to get things going here in the third quarter. On second down, ETN once more. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. I have to think a major focus of the halftime, Meeks, had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And he has a big gain inside the 40 before being dropped. Well, they only needed a small gain on third down. They end up getting over 30 yards. Well, that was a pretty good time for his first catch of the ball game, and it turned into a huge play as well. He's certainly not been a central part of this passing game so far in this one, but he made his presence felt there a big pickup on third down. Off the play fake, here's Lawrence. Man open, here is Jones. Touchdown, Jaguars. Zay Jones, 38 yards. And the Jaguars are an extra point away from taking the lead. And there they got him the ball, just get it to him, let him do the rest. You know, he probably said that to his quarterback as he broke the huddle. I like the play call, just get it to me. I'll take care of the rest of it. Helping out his rack, right, RAC? Run after catch, and he loves that, and he's going to carry that in at contract time. After the touchdown, here's McManus now to kick it away. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he's up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And yeah, they'll be working from behind now following the touchdown a moment ago on the opening drive of the half. I think the guys right now, as they go out on offense, they're zeroing in on one big key. They don't have to do anything differently just because they're down on the scoreboard now. The intent still the same in what they plan to do on offense. A third quarter now to one-point game as they line up second and ten. Swift going to try up the middle. And he'll be upended here after a pickup of three, getting it out to the 25. Well, that's a good start to this drive on the defensive side of the ball. 4C and completion on first down. Then you're able to shut down the running play on second. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised now. A little bit of pressure going at the quarterback in the expected passing situation. Flush to his right. So no sack. He gets back to the line of scrimmage, but he'll still bring up the fourth down. Hurts not coming to the sideline. They're going to go for it. They're indeed going for it as they look to throw. Flushed out right. He's got his running back out of the backfield. And he's taken down, but able to slip across the 35. They couldn't ask for much more to this point in the second half. A gorgeous day, one score game. First and 10 here. From the gun, here's Swift. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. On the throw, led him too much that time. It's incomplete. A lot of times, it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. One first down here, and that's all, folks. Good work by this defense to hold things in check and force a punting situation. They're going on fourth down with Hurts. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And they've got it well across. 
across midfield down to the 40 before it's all said and done. 21 yards there, a big play on fourth down. We always talk about big time players make big time plays in big time moments. I think that fourth down qualified. That was a heck of a throw. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And they're not able to hook up there. Incomplete. This could be the start of a nice stand from this defense now after getting walked backwards on this drive. Come through with another one here, and you have them staring at a third and long, and that puts the defense in a position to dictate to the offense. Throwing his Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. They're going to hurry back to the line now. Here's Hurts to throw. Oh, he rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. Picked up by Foyasade and Morgan. And the Jaguars are going to take over once again at their own 25-yard line. And that could turn out to be a giant play, Charles. You've got an offense driving to take the lead, but they're turned away on the INT. And I think that we might look back on this in the fourth quarter and say, that was the play of the game. And from the 25, they worked this to the 29, a gain of four. Three quarters have come and gone. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Second and six, just inside the 30. Play action. It's Lawrence. Man open. That's Calvin Ridley. And they get him down, but not before he takes it across the 40-yard line. First target, first catch, and a first down. Here's Lawrence to throw. Eluding the pressure right. And he just gets rid of it. Throws it away. The wise move there looked like nobody open. Now second down. Here's second and ten. Looking to throw Lawrence. And he comes back with one complete. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Ten yards there, good enough for the Jags first down. Here's a give to ETN. Five yards is the tally on first down. That brings up second and five. It's a game of five. Brings up second and five. ETN once more. And he'll go down here at the 35 yard line. 40 yards rushing now on eight carries for him so far. How about this offensive line? They're really starting to establish themselves, take over this game. And before the series began, I know exactly what we said in the defensive huddle. Guys, we got to get no less than a three and out. Let's get off the field. Instead, they can't find any traction towards doing that. Right now, they're just getting muscled all over the field and getting pushed down it. If nothing else, they've already taken a couple minutes off the clock here already as they come up second down. Here's Lawrence. They'll drop that underneath to ETN. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles 18. This is something you've got to be wary of defensively. I mean, just because they're in the mode of trying to burn some clock doesn't mean they weren't passing. They got good yardage out of that one. Yeah, and really, when you're looking at it, now they've got a fresh set of downs. Look for second down. If they want to take another shot and try and loosen things up, that'd be the time to do it. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run first down. And he gets it down close to the 10-yard line. Good game there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front. Good blocking. Nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage. Stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. 
They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Etienne will score. Touchdown, Jacksonville. So they brought the extra bulk in down on the one yard line and they're able to push this one across. Yeah, I can just see your face right now because I know we're mind melding on this one. Coach Madden would love this. Power football, hat on a hat, chest to chest, driving forward, touchdown. And it's no good. Well, that could be a critical miss here in a one score game in the fourth. So with the missed PAT in his rearview mirror, he goes back out to kick this one off. Scott on the return, out of the end zone. And he'll be stopped right around where he would have been had he gone down to a knee, maybe a yard shy of there at the 24. This is first and 10. Trying to shake off the interception, he'll look to throw. He'll find Swift out of the backfield. It drives some people crazy to see those short throws underneath. They've got to find a way to gash the defense downfield. Here's second down. 63, 63, 63. They'll look to throw, escaping the pressure right. Situation where the quarterback's got to take a full charge of his head. We've got to totally command and make sure all eyes are on him. All focus is locked in. Going to call multiple plays and go over different situations and scenarios to make sure everyone is on the same page. This definitely four down territory at this point, but a critical third down here. He'll look to throw. And the throw there going to be incomplete. Chance left to keep this one going, and I think for you and me, let's think a lot with their offensive coordinator now. Has to think back, cycle through every play of this contest, and remember what's worked and what has it. Because right here, he needs the best play of the game in order to keep this one alive. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. As expected, they're going for it to keep the drive alive. And that's complete to Brown. And now this is going to depend on the spot. And they say he's just short. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And that's going to be just about all she wrote for this one. 